hello friends today we'll try to understand one of the important topics which is stagflation what is stagflation stagflation ante emiti it is described as a situation in the economy where the growth rate slows down that's what simply we can say stagflation so if you go to understand very clearly the unemployment rate of the country nirudyogita rate plus inflation rate dravyolbana parisithulu and nirudyogita rate anetvandivi rendu at a time the two economic problems one side unemployment rate will be very high and one side the inflation rate will be high so what is unemployment unemployment is nothing but people are ready to work but there is no employment ప్రజలు పని చేయడానికి సిద్ధంగా ఉన్న అక్కడ పరిస్థితులు జాబ్ అపర్చునిటీ అనేటువంటి లేనటువంటి పరిస్థితిని అన్ఎంప్లాయ్మెంట్గా చెప్తాం సో అన్ఎంప్లాయ్మెంట్ రేట్ అనేటువంటివి ఎక్కువగా ఉండి ఇన్ఫ్లేషన్ రేట్ వస్తువుల యొక్క ధరలు నిరంతరం కంటిన్యూస్గా పెరుగుతున్నటువంటి సిచ్యువేషన్ని మనం ఇన్ఫ్లేషన్గా చెప్తాం సో ఇక్కడ ఆర్థిక వ్యవస్థలో ఎప్పుడైతే అన్ఎంప్లాయ్మెంట్ రేట్ ఎక్కువగా ఉండి వస్తువుల యొక్క ధరలు నిరంతరం పెరుగుతూ ఉన్నటువంటి పరిస్థితిని మనం స్టాక్ఫ్లేషన్గా అర్థం చేసుకుంటాం సో హియర్ ద లెవెల్ ఆఫ్ అన్ఎంప్లాయ్మెంట్ రిమైన్స్ టీడీలీ హై అండ్ ఎట్ ద ఇన్ఫ్లేషన్ ఆర్ ప్రైస్ లెవెల్ రిమైన్స్ హై ఎట్ ద సేమ్ టైమ్ దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ స్టాక్ఫ్లేషన్ సో హియర్ వీ కెన్ అండర్స్టాండ్ విత్ ద హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద పిక్ హియర్ వీ కెన్ సి హియర్ రిసెషనరీ కండిషన్ సి హియర్ వెన్ అన్ఎంప్లాయ్మెంట్ రేట్ ఈస్ హై దెన్ జనరల్ ఇఫ్ ద గుడ్స్ అండ్ సర్వీసెస్ ప్రొడక్షన్ ఆల్సో గోయింగ్ టు వెరీ లో రైట్ సో వెన్ గుడ్స్ అండ్ సర్వీస్ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు uh down definitely the demand for commodities means the when unemployment is there the income levels are also going to go down when income levels are going to down definitely the purchasing power of the commodities the consumer demand for to purchase commodities will be very low so that is what one side demand will be less it is going to decline the demand and it is going to decline the gross domestic product right vastu sevala yokka viluvar anetvandi vi tagutunnai the goods and services ratio which is going to uh, decline one side and uh, demand for the commodities also going to decline why this is because of unemployment high unemployment so at the same time inflation condition also very high right the goods and services uh already it is decreasing when goods and services are low definitely the prices of goods and services ultimately which is going to uh, rise up right so that is what inflation condition so here unemployment it is in, increases unemployment rate will be very high and inflation rate will be very high so these two economic conditions which we can see in stagflation time right and let us see once what why this is dangerous so here it is dangerous for the economy so usually why because very low growth rate we can see in the time of stagflation economic time central bank and government try to stimulate the economy through higher price higher spending and low rate of interest so they are try to public means government try to spend so much money in the time of low growth rate situation so and uh, RBI also try to reduce the rate of interest by reducing the very less uh, rate of interest so that the money will be going to supply more so that so that economy will be stimulated or it will be stimulated so in that way RBI try to stimulate economy by taking polit- uh, monetary policy and government with the help of fiscal policy they try to stimulate the economy but even though uh, these measures also tend to elevate prices and uh, a cause inflation so these tools cannot adopted when inflation is already running high so these are the tools whatever are rba whatever the government means fiscal policy and monetary policy which is not going to work out so which makes it difficult to break out of the low growth high inflation trap whatever low growth rate and whatever high inflation trap the condition whatever it is there in the economy this time whatever the monetary policy whatever the fiscal policy rbi or government whatever they are trying to elevate the trying to clear the problem it is not going to break out in as 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 soon as easy right and coming to the let us uh, take one case study uh, in the health help of here uh, in the early mid 1970s related stagflation one case study here in the early mid 1970s when opec opec is nothing but the particular organization the organization of petrol and exporting and petrol exporting countries we can say 
the organization of petrol exporting countries simply we can say opec so which works like a cartel cartel is nothing but the group of individuals get together and they will try to control the prices they will try to get profit so that is what simply we can say oligopoly oligopoly market we can say few firms will be there group of firms they will try to organize the particular products and all so that is what which works like a cartel simply we can text petrol or companies or uh, electrical means uh, telecommunication airtel idea bs and likewise or else you can take petrol indian oil uh, reliance bharat petrol and whatever these are all petrol comes under oligopoly market same here the opec countries the cartels the group of companies oligopoly market decided to cut supply and sent oil prices soaring across the world so that means they are trying to increase the prices of petrol in the world so why because they are try they when they are uh, reducing the supply definitely the prices of the petrol which is going to rise up right so that is what we can understand so on the hand on the one hand the rise in oil prices constrained and productive capacity of most western economies that heavily depend on oil so thus hampering economic growth on the other hand the oil prices spike also lead to inflation and commodities became more costly so that is what simply we can say that when supply of petrol if it reduces whichever countries the most the supply abundant countries we can take the middle asian countries or so the arabia there are so all the whatever oil exporting countries petrol oil related the crude oil exporting countries if they reduce the supply if they decrease the supply of oils so definitely the prices of those particular uh, petrol which is going to rise up so ultimately which is going to whichever countries are more dependent countries uh, example let us take example here western economies western economies whatever the countries they are highly dependent petrol or oil so in that time definitely that particular economy is going to be affect more so the oil prices spike also lead to inflation and commodities become more costly so for instance and one more instance we can take that here example in 1974 the oil prices went up by almost 70% and leads to the consequent rise in inflation so when the price, when supply of commodities it reduces definitely the price of commodity which is going to very high so that is what it has taken place in 1974 so that's what today the topic related stockflation hope everybody clear uh, thank you for watching and keep learning